I want to begin by recognizing and celebrating the people that make this institution what it is. To start our event volunteers that are running around, even if I told them to stand, they're probably already standing. If you could just raise your hand. If you're volunteering, many of these are our students. Many of these are our graduates. And they're here and they actually emailed and said, how can I help? So Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for our volunteers and our coordinator, Razan Hadidi. Thank you for our MC. There you go. Thank you for our MC, who happens to be her brother, Al Hussein Hadidi. Thank you for our photographer, who's graciously donating his time tonight, Amin Lakani, for taking the photographs and team. Ismaili community. Then we have Nabiya Huda who decorated this event in such quick order. Thank you so much for all of you event volunteers. I want to make sure the next is for these individuals that are taking their time out and actually spending their time at the school unannounced and unasked for. One of the individuals I want to really reach out and speak to is, is Dr. Salma Khan who has been spending one-on-one -on -one time. If you could please stand up as I call your name. One-on-one -on -one time with our kids and doing mental health training for our teachers. There's so many other volunteers. If you've volunteered at the school, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but I know, I've heard, you'll show up and just ask, how can I help? That is amazing and that's what makes this institution amazing. Our PTO moms, who I think if you enjoyed the auction, they put the auction together, if you could just stand and be recognized. They dedicate their time in the morning at the school and at night, they have meetings until about 10 o'clock at night. I know from experience. Only to have a smile on those children's face and to show the appreciation to our committed teachers. They're having nights, movie nights, they're having bake sales, they're having field day and also the auction, which I hope somebody really won that car line pass. I hope it was me actually. And then what we can't do without is our staff and our teachers. 500 plus kids and over 400 parents in our institution. And they keep the wheels running. They create a caring and nurturing environment where there's always a smile and the kid always knows that they can feel comfortable saying what they need to. If you would raise, please teachers and staff, I know you're here, don't be shy. It's important for everyone around to see where you are and who you are and the level of effort you do. Year after year, we're winning awards and accolades because of your effort. I know they're here, they're just very shy. Round of applause for all of these individuals that are making our school great. I would like to take this time to actually call select board members on stage, if you will, for this next portion. Where are they? Brother Mutlu, Dr. Muhammad al -Abiyad, Dr. Manan, Dr. Sultan Ali. As these individuals are coming up, this is just a representation of those individuals that have spent year upon year dedicated. They've sacrificed not only their time, but money, and everything just for the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this school what it is today. Years of years without knowing the outcome, but having faith that inshallah one day what they will do and their intentions are pure, they will in fact, Allah will take care. And of course, how are we going to forget our principal? He spent the last 10 years making this school what it is today. He's gone from 200 students to 500 students, continuously ranked top five in Shelby County, top 10 in the state, and top five Islamic school in the country. That doesn't just happen, folks. That is dedication. The colleges you'll see on your pamphlet right now are the individual colleges, the best in the country that our students are invited to year after year. My personal experience with Dr. Mali is that whenever there's an opportunity to improve the school, 
He will do whatever He needs and He'll make it happen. His radiant smile, care, and dedication is contagious to all of us, the students, the staff, the families. And it makes it easy for us board members to dedicate a little bit of the time that he dedicates on a daily basis. I want to call Dr. Molly on stage. Oh, there we Dr. Molly is receiving the 10 Years of Service Excellence Award for this great institution from the board members who are involved on a day-to-day -day basis with him for years and years, more than I was. Thank you so much, Dr. Molly. While I have these board members on stage, I think we should probably go through the group that they represent. They represent our history, where it started off as an idea. From there, we went to a trailer with 1,000 square feet to then 50,000 square feet. Where are we today? Alhamdulillah, because of the generosity of Dr. Kandakar and his family, he has donated the land adjacent, and now we are a total of 25 acres for our campus. Thank you so much, Dr. Kandakar. May Allah accept everything that you've done. Not only have you served on the board for numerous years, you've also dedicated this property that you've held for years, waiting to give it to the school. And we appreciate everything that you've done, and we hope we do justice for the years that you've served and you've dedicated. Thank you so much to our board members. A little awkward is back here because they didn't know either. Wanted to keep it a surprise for them. Reimagine PVS. Now that we've introduced the main powerhouses of this community, of this institution, I'll introduce myself. My name is Sohaib Malani. If many of you guys know, I've actually been a part of this community since 94. I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't attend Pleasant View School, but that trailer that I mentioned, I was there for Sunday school. And when it came time for me to actually attend school, there was unfortunately no middle and high school. But I was able to be along this journey. I still remember being involved in the campus at Sunday school when it became on the facility. I think it's very, very important that we recognize all the effort for all the people that have done everything over the last 25 years. Please recognize the board, the donors, the supporters for all the work that they've done. I would be remiss if I didn't mention my fellow current board members. This year, I do serve as a president, but my role is really unproductive without the support of the men and women of the board. So if you are here, I'm sure you're here, of course, please just raise your hand to be recognized we have Rehan Shafiq. We have Saira Salauddin. We have Reza Chowdhury. We have Dr. Hadidi, who is actually out of town right now, couldn't make it. And we have Abdul Hasib Noor, who is also out of town and couldn't make it. And we have Brother Ali Ose. That, honestly, he is the, the words that I need to hear. When I've got a concept, I go and I say, Brother Ali, how do I put this? And he'll put it in the most sweetest way possible. As we move forward, I think it's important for us to take a look at what this reimagined PVS is. It's a relay race because at the end of the day, it's not just what one board or one individual can do. It's the work that's been done prior generations and today, we have been panned to that baton. We looked at everything this institution has achieved over the last few years, and we came and said, what are we doing? Let's reimagine PVS. With the completion of our building coming to an end very shortly, we see that there is so much to do, and it's important we start keeping the Islamic foundation in the heart of our kids. This structure is built, and now it's time to reinforce the inside we're attempting to look at things a little bit differently. 
with a new mindset and a fresh perspective. Because we know, we know the sacrifice it takes to, to get here and also the hard work it's going to take to get to a place where the next generation can build even taller. It's going to require intentional work. But remember, it's a relay race, not a sprint. I'm being shown a sign for time, so I'm going to continue on with the presentation to get to the crux of the matter. Just like many of you, we are parents. All of us on the board are parents and we hear you. We've heard you. It's important that as a Muslim community and school leadership, we lead by example. And we hold ourselves accountable to see how we can improve the quality of our institution. And for that, we need your support. We need to invest in and attract our teaching and operational talent. Our teachers that are here, they need us to invest in them. They're ready to dedicate their time and effort, but we have to do our part. In our initial review, we've noticed that we're actually needing our two more folks in the operational staff. That right now, as our student body has grown, our footprint has grown, our operational staff hasn't. To be able to make sure that we're doing the best to take care of our property. We need to invest in the growth of our teachers by having a dedicated academic coach. Our lower school has almost reached 100% capacity and we need to dedicate attention to those lower school grades. While we're excited to get started, it's critical that we're intentional in choosing the right candidate for each and every one of these positions. As much as I want to tell you we're going to get it done, we will get it done, but we'll get the right candidate inshallah with the blessings of, of Allah and your support. We know that to offer a well-rounded experience, we need to go beyond academics and streamline our extracurricular offering. To enhance and maintain our existing infrastructure, to make it more conducive to creativity and learning and safety, most of all. This isn't gonna happen overnight. The work has started though, but now it's time to move forward and need your support to make this a reality. Our fundraising goal this year is 800,000. 400 for that deficit and another 400 inshallah for us to be able to invest in our facility, our people and, and everything we need to do to continue making this school great. Without much ado, I want to invite Dr. Bashar to help mobilize this mission to make it all happen. Thank you so much for your time and for your attention.